Okay, so <clears throat> another problem that was asked about is, uh, is uh, located in Chapter 6 as well, Section 6.1, and it is 6.1.101. And really it has to do with uh, arc length. So uh, I'll read the question first. City A is due north of City B, and City A... Uh, is at 45, actually I'm not reading the question so accurately, but um, so I'll read it, I'll stop yapping and read. City A is due north of City B. Find the distance between City A, and they tell you that it's 45 degrees and 4 minutes north latitude, and City B, which is 19 degrees, 40 minutes north latitude. Uh, assume that the radius of the Earth, so R of the Earth, is equal to 3960 miles. And let's check the answer. They want it in miles, round to the nearest mile. So we don't have to worry about any decimals. Okay, so uh, looking at this, how the heck do you figure out what this distance is? So let's first uh, talk about what north latitude is and all of that. Some of you may know, so it's hopefully it'll be a quick review. So um, we have the Earth, and it is a sphere, unlike some of uh, our current celebrities believe that it's, or seems seem to believe that it's not from, for, from what I don't know. Uh, if city B and city A are measured to some angle, um, B was what, uh, 1940, 19 degrees, 40 minutes, and 45 degrees, 4 minutes. 45 degrees, 4 minutes. Um, that means from the equator, I'm going to draw another Earth here to just talk about latitude. What latitude is, is if this were the equator, that's kind of cockeyed, um, if this were the equator and this were the center of the Earth, if I had an angle measure to the equator, it would be measured zero. So if I then move south of the equator along the surface of the Earth, again, it would look curved from certain distances, from certain perspectives or certain angles. If I was looking straight at the line where I traveled south, then it would look like a straight line. Otherwise, it's going to be curved. Like out here, it's going to be curved. Over here, it's going to be curved, right? So in between there, it'll still be curved until I get to here. When I'm looking straight onto it, it'll look like a straight, uh, it'll look straight. So this is a south, a southern latitude or so south latitude. And let's say I moved in a direction theta. And this would be, I know in standard position, we would call it a negative angle because I'm moving down, right? But uh, in our system along the hemisphere, excuse me, along the sphere of the Earth, we would call that x number of degrees, theta degrees south. If I went northerly a certain distance, and it would be along that curve, it would be, let's say, instead of theta, let's say gamma. I think that's gamma. I don't know. Maybe it's lambda. I have no idea. I think that's gamma. Uh, and so gamma degrees north. So when we're talking about these two cities that are... Uh, 19 and 45 degrees north, we're saying that they are above the equator. Here would be zero north. And so there, B is up this much, which is 1940, and this is not to scale clearly, and this would be 45 and 4, 45 degrees 4 minutes. Okay? So that's what the deal with latitude and whatnot. So let's turn the Earth around and look at, the, look at it from a quote, kind of like a side view. So here's the Earth again. And here is the equator. And I let's say it's a cross section, so I'm in half. So here's the half. There's the center point. And then 20 degrees would be city B on the surface of the Earth. And again, that was 19 degrees, 40 minutes, I believe. Yes. And then city C, oh, excuse me, city A is 47 degrees. I said C again. City A is 45 degrees and four minutes, okay? So how do I figure out what this distance is along the surface of the Earth, knowing that the radius of the Earth is, 
what they say, uh, 3960 miles. So it's really an arc length problem. And I gave you a whole bunch of information on that first day. Um, and I naturally go to this proportion method where I think about um, the distance along this surface. Let's call it arc length A. So this is A is the length of the circumference of the Earth, or that ratio, A is some part all the way around the Earth, the circumference, is equal to the angle measure traveled, theta, or sometimes people put A there for uh, central angle, or CA, okay, divided by all the way around. Now, if we want to, we can, well, actually, in this problem, because they're giving us degrees, I would just use degrees, 360 degrees. And so some angular distance traveled divided by all the way around, so part divided by whole, is equal to that same distance in length along a circumference, so part divided by whole. They should be proportional. So A is what I'm looking for. Circumference I can calculate, so that's 2 pi r, so that's 2 pi times the radius of the earth, 3960. Now I'm questioning it. Yeah, they said radi radius, okay. And then the central angle, theta, is this angle here, not all the way up. So really I want to take 45 degrees, 4 minutes, and subtract 19 degrees and 40 minutes. And all of that's divided by 360 degrees. So this is part over whole, part over whole. This is what we want to know. So 45 minus 19 so 45 minus 19 is going to be what? Uh, 45 minus 20, which is 25, which is 26. 26 degrees. And then 4 minutes minus 40 minutes. So some of you may not be familiar with this. There are 60 minutes, just like 60 minutes an hour. There are 60 minutes in a degree. 60 minutes equals 1 degree. And also 60 seconds, which is how a minute is chopped up, just like in time, is equal to 1 minute. Okay? So 60 seconds in one minute, one minute, excuse me, 60 minutes in one degree, and 360 degrees to cover the whole distance around the Earth on a great circle. So I have, I'm trying to take 40 from 4, so I have to borrow. So this is going to be 4, and so I have to borrow, and instead of borrowing 10, I'm actually borrowing 60, because remember, there are 60 minutes in one degree, not 100 minutes in one degree. So... When I did this subtraction, 45 minus 19, I kept 26. It's really going to be 25, and then I'm going to take 64 minus 40. I know I did that kind of clunky. Hopefully you were okay with what, how I did that. So 24 minutes. So that's this value. Divide that by 360 degrees, and that's going to be equal to, again, A divided by 2 pi times that. Let's do that math. Uh, 0, 12, 18, 19 and 7. Okay, so that's 2 times 3960. So we still have a bit of an issue. In your calculator, it'll be kind of a pain in the butt to uh, deal with this value. So there's two ways to deal with it. In your calculator, there should be a button that changes um, degrees. It'll, it'll put like degrees, minutes, seconds, and you'll be able to convert that with a button, I believe, directly to degrees. And then you can also do degrees and change it into degrees decimal and change it into degrees, minutes, seconds. And if there is not a button, this is what you're going to have to do. So we're going to slide over here, change colors, and we're going to do this. So since there are 24, excuse me, since there are 60 minutes in every one degree, I'm going to convert this 24 minutes into degrees by multiplying it times one degree over 60 minutes. And so notice minutes cancel, I'm going to have degrees. So I'm going to take 24 times one divided by 60. So, or you can think of it as like if I had 79 pennies, if I want to change that into decimals, I know you would just put 0.79. But really what I'm doing is dividing it by the total number of pennies in a whole dollar, which is 100, and that turns into 0.79. So I'm going, to have multi I'm going to divide 24 by the total number of minutes in a degree, 24 divided by 60. So we get some decimal, decimal value for that. And that decimal value is, I don't know, 24 divided by 60. Well, 
Why is this not doing this? Oh, stupid. What did you do? I don't know what's going on with the computer. 24 divided by 60. There we go. I should kick that out. 0.4. So this is 0.4. I should have been able to see that. Sorry. Um, so this is really 25.4. 25.4 degrees over 360 degrees. And so now multiply both sides by this value. And I'll get A equals 25.4 times 7920 pi divided by 360. This is degrees, degrees, and this is uh, miles. And so I'm going to get units of miles. So 24 divided by 60 plus 25. And that's going to be multiplied by 7920 times pi. I'm doing this on in uh, Google. And then divide that by 360. And we get the arc length uh, from city B to city A is 1,755.5219743 miles. And of course, they said round to the nearest mile, so we get A is equal to 1756 miles. Okay, and that's it. Bye.